built a 300 horsepower supercharged aluminum jet boat, you might be wondering why I did. These boats can go up whitewater rapids, they can jump stumps, they can jump land bars, they can do tricks, and more importantly than all of that, they are tough as nails and almost unsinkable. Oh, we got water in the boat, water in the boat, water in the boat. To show you the full story on how we built this bad boy and turned it from a pallet to metal into a floating boat, we got to start a year ago. Rewind the clip, show. Guys, it might not look like it, but I bought two brand new boats. Look at them. They look like scrap metal on a pallet. So we're gonna pull these bad boys inside and it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. And we just gotta put it together. We should have this done in like a week. Guys, here's the thing. We didn't really know how to build boats. <laughs> we didn't really know what we was doing and we eventually got this one kind of turned into a boat shape, but it's nowhere near right. So, we called our best buddy Peter from HTP. Peter's gonna come here and tell us everything we were doing wrong because we don't really weld aluminum that much, so we don't really know what we're doing. You know what the problem is? YouTubers never watch YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything we should do not to f this up? Absolutely. First of all, let's talk safety gear. Nobody wants to listen to safety, but let me tell you f So if you weld pushing this way, I start over here. Then you start over there, you do the same thing. Then from here to there would be your first weld, from there to there, your second and so on and so forth. So the good news is our welder wasn't broken, we're just, what's the word, Logan, stupid? Silly. Yeah, we're, we're just stupid. Now the welder's working, we can actually stick all this stuff together. So let's get these boats built. Uh, After months and months of work, we finally have something that looks like a boat. Problem is with this entire situation though is this is the engine bay. And as you can tell, there's no engine. <laughs> but never fear, because I've got an idea for an engine. Oh hello, Jeski! How are you doing today? BAM! Supercharged sea new motor in this bad boy. Yes, I know it's running out of the water. Don't worry about it. We're back in the day. Now it's time to see if it works. A lot of blessings pounding up that I ain't even wish for none. Let the wolf for y'all, I'm locking the fridge door in the crib, cutting heads. Oh, oh, I read through the catalog, came to conclusion, no one's really touching works. this. This will be the perfect motor for our jet ski. The problem is, I kind of like this jet ski, so we're going to tear apart another one. Guys, I don't know if you know this about us or not, but we are really, really good at taking stuff apart. So, the redneck battery disconnect down here, it's called taking the battery out. It really happens frequently at the Walmart drive-thru. Yes, I'm not exactly sure if the engine fits out of this thing in one piece, so we gotta take the supercharger off, we gotta take the intake off. We found a motor. Look at it, look how small it is. One point. This jet ski came in in one piece. Now there's pieces here, there's pieces over there. There's a whole table of pieces right here, and there's a whole bunch of pieces of wiring over there. Do we have any idea where this plugs back into? Not a clue. I have no idea where any of it goes, but look! Now we have us a brand new jet ski motor. 300 horsepower, 1,498 cc's of supercharged jet skis. Do we know how to put it in the boat? No, no idea. But that's half the fun of building stuff, is doing it wrong and then coming back and fixing it. Okay, so we've actually been prepping this boat a little bit for this motor already. We've already got motor mounts made. Technically, they do hold the motor in the right spot, so there's that. The problem is, this is a fuel-injected supercharged motor, so it takes a lot of wiring to make it run right. So we had to figure out like steering, trim, start, stop, where to put the key. There's a lot of stuff to do before we can hit the lake, but once we get it done, this thing is gonna rip. They say 170 horsepower is enough for one of these boats. So we figured double of that would be great. Yep. Oh. Oh, does the, does the cringy YouTube snap not work anymore? Back in the day, you used to be able to snap and things would happen. Like, you know, bang, women would appear. Bang, boat would be done. Now all I do is just look stupid in the middle of my shop. Just snapping to myself. Snap, snap. Guys, this is the professional moment where we either just drop it in, it goes perfectly, or we wrestle with it for four hours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God oh damn. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're gonna get it in there, damn it. I am impatient. Let's get the motor in there. Oh, there we go. We're so close. We're so close. Oh, wait, what? Hold on a minute. Did we just make that work? We're not all the way down yet. No, we're mostly there. Ta da! We're done. You want to know the bad news? That belt's got to go on before the motor goes in.
So we gotta take it back out. <laughs> but hey, look, it, it fits magnificently. So here's the here's the deal, right? We got we motor in here. Intercoolers over here kind of mounted up. We gotta put a fuel cell over there someplace. The drive shaft actually fits in perfectly. The only thing we gotta do now is take the motor all the way back out that we just got in there perfectly and put this on. One engine install later, the belt is now on. We went ahead and put the pipes on the intercooler. We figured out where the fuel cell is gonna go. Hold on, look, look at this. Bud dump. Here's a big advantage for this, right? One day when this boat breaks down, we can take off our fuel tank mount and pull ourselves ashore. I actually feel pretty good about that. And look, fuel line goes right on, just like that, and bam, we're done. So, lots of good things have happened here. We honestly don't know if it's gonna run. That's a big concern right now. You did all the wiring, what do you say? Well, I don't wanna blame it on that part, but. <laughs> 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 geniuses so secretly this is an engine cover and it's also a privacy blocker in case you want to get wild in the jet boat like right now tell me what he's doing up there in the front seats you don't know no idea dude this thing's getting really close the thing is over a year we've worked on this boat so like the first scene you've seen in this video was over a year ago and now he's almost getting ready to go to the water if we're really really good this should just shut perfectly three two one there's a lot of movement in that end, but yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> well, here's a disadvantage now. Now that we got an engine cover on it, we don't have a handle to get the engine cover back open, so we can't work on the engine anymore. Here's good news. Technically, if we hook this to the battery and we hook that battery up, things should happen. All right, now you see, right there, that's Kawasaki motor. Right over there, that's supercharger. Now, hey, look, I'm talking to you. That's a supercharger over there, right? And then this over here is fuel cell. That's where we put the dead dinosaurs in there make noises we're so close we're so close i can smell it i can smell the wiring catching fire right now oh shit. oh shit. oh my god <laughs> we're good the wiring's fine now put it out all right so the battery is hooked up the wiring's hooked up there's fuel in the tank the intercooler's hooked up technically this thing should start right now you want to be ready to run the throttle make sure the throttle and everything works let's send it Hit the button. I'm scared. I mean, it didn't start, but that was close. <laughs> you know, that's almost there. Okay. The trim fell down from it vibrating. It actually is amazing because you barely tapped it and I seen all the pipes expand. Like mm -hmm. that's how much boost it makes just right off the oh rip. My. Just went, That is, that's insane. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, fire it up. Let's see if we can blow the boost tube off of it real quick. Just watch that, watch that pipe right there. I have a feel that pipe gonna go. Is this the moment where we go see if it actually floats? It's time to go to the lake, baby. This feels like a big ass moment right now. This thing's getting ready to roll outside and we're getting ready to take it someplace to float. Ooh, ah, we're fucking ready. All right, guys, here's what's happening right now, right? As you can see, there's a boat. They normally should float. We'll see if that happens or not. And right there, right there is her new testing ground. I can feel it. She's gonna rip today. All right, back us in. Is there any water? No. There's no water back there? No. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Keep coming, we ain't got no water. There's Is it water. not leaking at all? No, there's nothing. There's no water back there whatsoever. I'll tell you what, look at this thing. It's floating, baby. It's rocking. All right, uh, hold yep. on, let me make sure it starts. Ready? Yep.
Oh, oh. Come get us now. We got water in the boat. Water in the boat. Water in the boat. Okay, never mind. The water slashed to the front of the floor of the boat when it died, and I got really scared. Dude, I got really worried for a second because as soon as it died, my ankles were covered in water. I'm like, oh no! It's sinking! Dude, the walkie talkie. For 10 seconds, 10 glorious seconds, it was ripping. It got up on planes so beautiful. Yeah. It looked so good. It felt so good too. We gotta figure out the dying problem though. That's not that fun. What's wrong? I think we got a boy hole. Well, there's, there is a little bit of water back there. Don't step on my foot, please. For the love of God, do not step on my foot. Where's your foot? Right under your foot. Sure, if blind. that's too much water in a boat, but that's how much water we got. The Titanic's a little bit more. Yeah, the Titanic had way more water in it and it sank. So as long as we don't have as much water as the Titanic had in it, we should be good. I just walked up. So guys, um, we were ripping. We were getting off across the water pretty good. Then all of a sudden the boat just died. I went to restart it and it's the motor's locked up. So either the motor locked up, one, or the sub stuck in the chat pump, two. Neither one's not good, but motor locked up's really not good. You ever think about this, right? Maybe the fact is, this boat's so good, it caught a fish in the jet pump. As soon as we pull it out, we'll find a big catfish we can eat. Don't worry, guys. Aww. I'm just taking my boat for a walk. Oh, yes. Did you like the water? Oh, yes. You're a very good boat. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this sexy montage of me coming out of the water.